this right here for me this is the best form of celery and you know the best part of it you only need about a teaspoon come with me and i'll show you how i harvest and dehydrate and process this into beautiful celery powder there's so much hype about celery juice but do you know that celery powder is one essential spice you need in your kitchen cabinet yes celery powder enhances flavors naturally it's rich in nitrates it's also a food preservative but most importantly it helps bring out natural seasoning in your cooking and the best way i find to use it is by dehydrating it so come with me i'm at the allotment and i'm harvesting celery today we grew celery in the low tunnel last year and it's done really well <laughs> that is my celery bush there's a lot of it and i'm getting ready to replant in here so i need to start taking some of these plants out but before i can harvest this about two times i can have two pickings before i do that so basically all i want are the leaves not the full stalk so this is the this is the full stalk but i just really want the leaves so we're just gonna cut them okay i'm just gonna go with my secateurs and just cut and harvest it i learned about using a compost bucket from charles dowsing he actually teaches that it's the best practice and actually it does save you a lot of time going around with a bucket when you're harvesting there's quite a lot of celery <laughs> to harvest i'll show you all of that so we're gonna pick the leaves and i'll take you to the kitchen and show you how i go about dehydrating it and making celery powder keep watching two thousand years later i've just washed everything now i'm gonna pop this into my dehydrator because these are just celery leaves, there's no need to chop it up into smaller bits. I always love using my oven because it takes a lot more than the dehydrator does. And the simple thing with the oven is leave the door slightly ajar and I put it just between 100 and the 50 mark and leave the door slightly ajar. A few days later, <laughs> just because life happens. So this has been dehydrating in the oven. Can you see how the color looks? And this is the dehydrated one. Now the dehydrator takes longer. It looks a little, a very little bit greener, not by a, hu a huge amount. Let me show you. So can you see the difference? So it's entirely up to you. An oven does a perfect job at dehydrating any vegetable. Obviously, it has to be a fan oven, ideally. But then you see with the dehydrator, the stalks are still very, very wet. So we want to quickly process this. The simple way is to separate the leaves. This is celery leaf powder. You can still dehydrate the stalks, but it takes longer because celery is huge amount of water. It's mainly moisture. So I'm just going to separate all this leaves from the stalk because I don't want to be here forever. You can also blend this and then afterwards dry it again. So that's probably another thing you can do. So I'll show you that method as well. The oven dehydration works absolutely well. All you need to do is achieve your dehydration. So some of you always asking, I don't have a dehydrator, but dehydrating in the sun, the UV rays can actually degrade the nutrient profile. So it's not always the best to dehydrate in the sun, but it's also a very, is an option you can use. Actually air drying is better than using drying in the sun. So everything is in there now, all the celery. Can you believe it? That was all the celery I harvested. Like it was a lot. And look where it's ended up. Shrunk to this jug. So we're just gonna blend this now. Once 
once you finish blending this is still got moisture remember we had moisture in the stems so it looks like this you have a few stalks that wouldn't even blend that's fine we're just gonna pop this in the dehydrator for about an hour or in your oven just let this dry gently it's really important to do this because if you store this without getting rid of all the moisture you have end up with mold and we don't want that after going through all this process do we so we're just gonna pop this in the oven it's easier for me in the oven and let this dehydrate for another hour i have now gone ahead and also blended this again to give you this fine powder so this is perfectly ready to store in my jar all i have to do now is fill the jar up guys if you have enjoyed this video if it's added value to you if it's something you will try and i really encourage you to try this it makes a huge difference to your msg free seasoning natural flavor enhancer and this to me is the best use of celery the best part of celery so thank you thank you for watching give us a thumbs up also if you haven't yet kindly subscribe and until next time i will see you in another video bye